Okay, being four o'clock, we're going to um, commence for the Northampton License Commission, October 5th, 2016 meeting. And members present are Elaine Real and Brian Campadelli. The meeting is now called to order. There is uh, audio and video recording of this meeting. And at this time, we'll take any public comment, if there's any. Seeing none, we'll move on to the uh, first item on the agenda. So, uh, application for a short term wine and malt license for Saga Communications, DBA Northampton Radio Group, for a reception uh, the WHMP Studios to celebrate their 65th anniversary um, going on in an hour today. So, you have any, all the paperwork is in. Everything and yeah. we deliver that license. Paperwork check. Um, I've already, already indicated to the clerk that I'm I'm not sure since this was a by invitation only event whether we actually needed them. But they felt they wanted to cover all bases, and so I certainly um, would be willing to make a motion to approve this application. Sure. Your motion. That's my motion. I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Next, application to transfer of common subject license for McDonald's, King Street, and Northampton. Is anyone here for that? I'm here for that. Okay. Can you state your name? Uh, my name is Tom Kirby. I'm the area supervisor for McDonald's on King Street. Okay. transfer of common big license for Berkshire Yogurt to uh, Nourish Wellness Cafe. Submitted by Ethan Vandermark. Yep. Good afternoon. Hey, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good. I'm the owner of uh, Nourish Wellness Cafe and we are in the location um, that was Berkshire Frozen Yogurt. Are you guys up and operating now? Yeah, we're up and running. We've been since June 9th of this year. Good. That shows my ignorance. <laughs> I thought, still thought we still had Berkshire yogurt. Yeah, we're working on getting the word out. Okay, good, good. We wish you all the, all the luck here. Thanks. Um, anything else? For the commission that we need on this, it looks no, but it's a transfer, so they didn't need to be. Yeah, it looks looks fine. I'll I'll make a motion to approve this. Second. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Right, Best of luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you okay. Next application for short-term wine and malt license for the Academy of Music, submitted by Addison McDonald. Event. For, uh, Andrea Gibson event. We, um, do I have to need, I need to list each date? The dates, yeah. Yeah, October 19, 2016, 7.30 p.m. Uh, Arlo Guthrie concert, November 4th, 8 p.m. <coughs> A live art magazine event, October 21st, 2016 at 10. And Darling Side concert, November 26, 2016, 7.30. Is a fee waiver. A fee waiver is also requested, <coughs> and everything else is in place for it. That's correct. Mm -hmm. Arlo returns. <laughs> we love that. <Yeah. laughs> so I don't have any questions. I'll 
make a motion to approve the application for short-term wine and malt license and to approve a fee waiver for this applicant. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for coming. Next uh, application for short-term all-alcohol for St. Elizabeth and Seven Church, DBA, Polish Heritage Committee. Date and time is November 6, 2016, noon to 6 p.m. The event's a roast beef dinner, dance, and fundraiser at the parish hall. Say your name, please. Robert Givowitz. I'm uh, co-chair of the Polish Heritage Committee. Uh, this is an annual event. Uh, to help defray the uh, costs of sponsoring the Pulaski Day Parade, which is coming out this Monday. So, great. I got all their services. I believe that you've been before us yes, a number of yeah. times. Yes. Is there anything that's changed uh, significantly in the way you're going to be serving the alcohol this year? No. Okay. I see you have serve safe um, certifications. Yes. The fee is here. Um, I wish you much success, and I'm going to make a motion to approve the application. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You'll mail that? Uh, if you want it, I have it. Okay. Next is an application short term all alcohol license for, let's see, Lander Green Spoon yes. Academy, the Solomon Schechter School, um, Pioneer Valley, Inc., UBA, Lander Green Spoon, Green Spoon Academy. The event, um, the party and silent auction for December 17th. Uh, 7 p.m. to 11, submitted by Ellen Frank. Welcome. Thank you. I'm Ellen Frank, I'm executive director of Lunch. And this is the first time I'm before you. I was going to say, I think I mean, this is the first before. time you've, you've looked at the right. Oh, okay. That's right, yes. Great. Try something new. This is the first time they've run this event? That's right. Uh, we've run similar events off-site. We've always wanted to hold it on-site and have never had enough lead time to prep to be able to come in and ask for a liquor license to do it in this way. Great. I have the service. Say, could you just tell us where the alcohol will be served and how we're always concerned about people being able to manage the premises when they have one of these events. So yes. just like you've got a serve well, safe Correct. Uh, certifications there. Uh, who, is, who is actually going to be serving the alcohol and how do you keep people from removing the alcohol from the premises? Right. So we have, the bartender will be the only one serving the alcohol. We'll probably also have another volunteer serving non-alcoholic beverages at the same station just to keep things moving. Um, and then we have a staff, a committee of volunteers who will be supervising the event. And we, because of security issues, because it's a school, we always keep our perimeter is fairly secure, if you will. Um, so all entry and exit is through the front door, which we always keep shut and locked. So someone's always at that door making sure that it doesn't leave. And in terms of, um, none of this is happening during school hours, so there's not an issue of alcohol around the children in any way. Okay, just as long as the volunteers are um, clearly instructed that people need to be kindly told not to remove alcohol from, from the indoor Honestly, press. it's likely me at that door most oh. of the time. <laughs> <laughs> and However, no just in, diplomatically yeah, you want to say that, that's yes. what we need to have happen. Yes, I understand. Um, I'll make a motion to approve the application. Is there a fee waiver request? No, no there's not. Okay. No, there just isn't a fee yet, so I can't. We haven't provided the check yet. No, correct. Okay. Um, well, I was going to say pending receipt of the fee in this matter, I will make a motion to approve the application and wish you good luck. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you so much. Thanks. Take care. Application for entertainment for Click Workspace, 9 out Market Street, Northampton. Hi. Can you say your name for the record, please? Yes, I'm Allison Plana. I'm the new director at Click Workspace. Um, 
we have a co-working space down at Market Street that has um, a first floor that can open up for entertainment, um, probably about a capacity of 100 or so. So we just want to have a license in place so that we can do small concerts and recitals and dance performances and, and things like that. We do Arts Night Out, which I know is covered under that particular license, but we do want to expand beyond that as well. Nice. And so do you have a, at this point in time, have you had the building inspector inspect the space and you know how many spaces are designated? Has that been done? Mm -hmm. There is a capacity assigned to this space. Uh -huh. um, we don't have a final certificate of occupancy until our basement is finished. Okay. So we're on a temporary one right now, as far as I understand. I can verify the board before I get one. Yeah, let's, uh, I was going to say, I'm, I'm willing to, to vote um, to approve this pending receipt of, of uh, appropriate uh, approval by the building department. Is that okay? Is that motion? Yes. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you, investors. Thank you very much. Okay. Next we have an application for short-term wine and malt for the Academy of Music. Um, that one already just went through. Yeah, so it was done separately before, but okay. when they didn't need to. That's fine. Application for short-term wine and malt for Silverscape Design, Inc. For a date and time of 11.25, 11.26, uh, 11.27 from 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Welcome. How many years now have you been? This is been our a while. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. This is quite a tradition at town. Yes, it is. That is great. We have everything we need on that. I'm sorry. Uh, Stilettos has not provided me yet with their um, um, safe, safe serve. serve because yeah. they don't know who's working the event yet. Okay, but you are you are yes. having some oh, yeah. and business. they handle it off. Okay. We are familiar with school items. Yeah. We've got the team on it. Um, I'll move to a, approve this long time applicant's Thanks. Um, event. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. So Best much. of luck. Thank you. Thanks. Uh, let's see next. Request for approval to hold annual all alcohol license for purpose of sale. One bar and grill. Thank you. Whoops. Oh, right <coughs> State your name, please. Matthew Gibbs. Hi. Shareholder. Hi. One bar and grill. So basically, we have several potential buyers interested in buying a license. Uh, we're going to renew our fees and we're asking the commission to allow us uh, a few extra months to try to make this happen. Yep. So I'm here in response many, to that. Um, how many months have we already let you have? I'm, I'm going to ask the clerk. The license is current. It's, it's current. current. So no, we did this for someone else uh, last time. Oh, you weren't here. Oh, okay. We All just right. approved the same thing for someone else. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it, it, it may be done before the end of the year, a sale. Yeah. No, but, no, that's but okay. It, but again, we just we have a oh, understand. history of pocket licenses. Yeah, that we're, 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 not, avoid. we're yes. not looking for that. We're looking to yeah, uh, sure. let the process take control without sure. having to tie our hands on it. As Commissioner Rosen would say, um, you know how we talked about this last time. As long as your fees are up to date and paid, and it's a reasonable amount of time. I yeah, yeah. It, we're not we're not looking to draw this out at all. So okay. All right. So I'm going to make a motion to uh, grant the request. Uh, for, wait, pardon me? Oh. Uh, I believe it's yes. I just said yeah. if you wanted to yeah. speak, so I didn't want to. Oh, okay. We're going to approve it, so That's I was going to say. Okay. <laughs> okay. I just went with the wrong building by the time we get And so. we need to have some kind of, how about six months? Let's just say six months with the right for them to come back and request yeah. further. Great, thank so you. six months okay. do that. All right, so I'm going to make a motion to request the approval to hold the annual all alcohol license for the purpose of sale for a period of six months from today's date um, with the option to come back um, to ask for more time if needed. Great, thank you very much. I'll second that. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Thank you. <coughs> Request approval of 2017 renewal process contingent upon inspections and outstanding due. Who's this for? Me. Just to say, you, are you approving the process of the Oh, oh, year? okay. I was, I was like, what? actually start on actually getting the paperwork oh, together to start okay. the renewals. Uh, you, you want us to actually put this in motion form? Apparently we have to. Okay. Okay. Well, um, I'll make a motion that, that we authorize the clerk of the commission to begin the 2017 renewal process contingent upon inspections and, and review of the outstanding taxes that are due by applicants. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Next is request approval of 2017 meeting schedule. The first Wednesday of each month, again with plan to look at summer calendar in May. I just want to be able to put it on the website. Right. If you guys wanted to stick with Wednesdays as we have, we can. If you That's fine with me. The only thing is I, I would like us, we did have a very long and hallowed tradition long before I came on. August being uh, something that we would do if we had applicants. Yeah. Right. Okay. We'll do that in May, I guess. Right. Encouraging yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. To to get their applications in June and July would be really good. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I'll make a motion that we approve the clerk's request um, to put uh, Wednesday of each month on the calendar. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Request review approval of the minutes of July 28, 2016, September 7th, 16. Uh, we have to table that because I wasn't at one and Elaine wasn't at the, other. at the other. So pass. Any new business? Okay. You can come up. Go. Hi. Hi. Can you state your name, please? Faye Kaufman for Forbes Library. Okay. <coughs> for wine and malt for uh, our reception on October 26th from 4 to 6 p.m. Okay, how's the gallery? Uh, we are, because I said the trustee of uh, Forbes Library. You can't vote on it. No, I can, but oh. you have you have to, as chair, <coughs> ask okay. that the rules be suspended, and because there is not a third member available. Uh, so what do I ask? No, we you just sort of state it. You oh, just state okay. it for the record. So, All right, so we understand record. this is not a regular occurrence. This is only if there is a third member not available, which leaves us without a quorum. Agreed. So, no. Oh, perfect. So this is, and I have to uh, state this, short term uh, wine and malt uh, for trustees of Forbes Library. Uh, and, uh, Wednesday, October 26th, 4 to 6.30 p.m. And the distributor is uh, Yankee Distribution. I don't think I need to read any more of that. I think this is fine. Is there anything that we're, there's a fee waiver requested as well. Uh, I'll make so. a motion to approve this application for this long time applicant and to approve the fee waiver. Second that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Any other new business? Yeah. My name is um, Amy Kaling. I am the executive director for the Downtown Northampton Association. Okay. And I'm coming with a question about whether or not I will need to come before you in November with a request for a short term liquor license. And it's in connection with an Arts Night Out liquor license. We are holding an event on Friday, December 9th, which is an Arts Night Out night. Um, it's going to encompass all of Main Street. And it's predominantly a family friendly event, but we are in preliminary conversations with one downtown restaurant about the prospect of coming onto Main Street to serve um, small samples of beer. Mm -hmm. And the area that we were thinking is on the courthouse lawn because it is fenced in and easily regulated. Um, and the, they would be serving in the same manner as an Arts Night Out facility. Um, they would have a tip certified server. And the, court, the old courthouse is um, one of the premises that is covered by an Arts Night Out license, but I don't know whether that license extends to the lawn. Mm -hmm. 
No, I think that license is for the premises that it was pulled for. I would definitely suggest, I think, coming before. Uh, yeah, yeah, I think that um, we're, we're going to want to strategize with you because the courthouse lawn uh, has partial fencing but is not yeah. totally fenced. We sure. may want to work out some kind of strategy with you because um, I don't think we've been particularly hard nosed about it, but uh, the Alcohol Beverage Commission in, in Boston is very Right. Um, gives We're, us a lot of hassle, and, and, and so sure. they're going to want to see that we've worked out with you a plan to ensure that people do not leave that area yeah. and walk around inebriated. Absolutely. Um, and we're happy to fence in further just the one area where they'll be. We, we are, um, it's a big event, so we're hiring a lot of policemen anyway, so we're happy to Perfect. hire another one or two. Um, but I just wanted to. If there's a problem, we can march them right in the courthouse. There you go. Right so, um, <laughs> even though it, it will mean a little bit extra, uh, we would like to work with cooperatively with sure. you to make sure this event can be done lawfully and appropriately. I, I have no problem coming in to you. I just didn't want to waste your time with an extra application if you said to me, oh no, it's covered, but I'll, I'm happy to come back. Right. You run a speedy meeting, so I'll come back. Yes. Sometimes we do, and sometimes they go very long. So This is impressive. So. Uh, well, thank you. Many people, I just want to say, Many of the folks you saw here today have been before us many times before yeah. and have Absolutely. run um, really good events. And that's something that we wanted to reward with not making someone sit here for three hours. Yeah, that's that definitely hard. has a lot to do with that. Great. So, great so meeting you. you. Welcome aboard. The date is Friday, December 9th. Okay, so from 5 to 8 p.m. If you get in touch with me, I'll email you the application. You can fill it out. With sure. Yeah, I think I have it. Absolutely. All right. So just give me a call. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. All Take right. care. Have a great day. Do we have anything else that we need to discuss? They, uh... What's your name again, please? Amy, Amy Kaling. Kaling. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Amy. Thank you. Take care. Uh, do we have any, uh, any any new business? Any other new business? Uh, does the clerk have any new business for you for second? Make a motion to adjourn. I'll second that. All in favor? All in favor of that. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yes.